Step 21. Installing the Eave Trim. Before we install the Eave Trim, I need to point out to you that Eave Trim comes in 10 foot 6 inch lengths, so you'll have some joints. That's fine. Just make sure you overlap those joints 3 inches or so. Your trim will look better if you start at the back of the building and work forward. The eave trim has one side that is not folded over or hemmed. That's the edge that goes up under your roof panels and is then attached to the lowest purlin with a number 12 by 1 inch color coordinated panel screw. None of your roof panels should have screws put in at the bottom. If you did put any in, they'll have to come out. So slip the eave trim under the edge of the roof panel and while holding it up against the underside edge of the roof panel and against the side panels, screw your color coordinated screw down through the roof panel and into the first purlin. This should catch the top edge of the eave trim. Now put one of the color coordinated number 14 by 7 8 inch screws through the eave trim and into the center of every other major rib of your sidewall panels. Do this all the way down each of the two eaves and when you get to the end, make sure you have the eave trim overlap the corner trim and of course, you'll have to trim off any excess.